Guineas, can you quit eating my seed, please? Well, I'm pretty sure we're feeding whole flocks of migratory birds right now with all of the seed that we overseeded on our little field here. And I'm hoping 20% of it takes, <laughs> if there's 20% of it left even, I tell. Time will have to tell. But these damn birds, sorry, I can't talk to them. I can't talk about birds like that. These opportunistic birds are opportun opportunistic ising the oppor they're taking, what am I trying to say? They are enjoying the seed that we have laid down for them. Today I am welding up some gates for our large vehicle gates for our fence. Now, I'm not a welder. I can kind of weld, and I mean kind of weld. Whenever I watch YouTube videos of people who can kind of roof, because I am a roofer, it's difficult for, for me to watch. So if you're a welder, I apologize in advance. I'm gonna hack this up. But these fences are gonna hold, I hope. Time will tell, because I haven't shot the footage yet. But, so I'm gonna be cutting some galvanized pipe this morning, and then I'm going to be laying out um, for a couple of fences. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful spring day to be working on this. It'd be nice when we get this fence system all wrapped up. So I've got this Mastercraft special, bought it on the Facebook buy and sell for 40 bucks or something. But I, uh, when I bought it, I didn't realize it's missing the piece here. So what I've done is I've created this block of wood that I can put in here. And this is a 33 degree angle which should give me the right angle to connect pipe perpendicular. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this works. I've never used this cutoff tool before, so I don't even know if it turns on. And uh, yeah, all of this is new to me, so let's do it. Oh, that's weird. I just chip, chip the breaker. Okay, check this out. Schwing! That works perfect. It even gives me a good area to weld in there. Now, I know what you're thinking, if you, especially if you're a welder. That's galvanized, man. You gotta be wearing a, a mask. I take a lot of safety risks. This isn't one of them. I'll be wearing a mask while I'm welding this. Pinky promise.
Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem. This is gonna be challenging. <laughs> Okay, after a quick run into town to grab some more wire, I have it loaded again. And I think I'm gonna be able to finish this one gate today. So I'm gonna weld on these brackets here that sit onto a pin that sit on there. And then I'm going to put some fencing, Some I'm gonna weld some, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna weld some metal fencing to the actual gate itself. So far, I'm pretty happy with this. I know I'm gonna get some comments about my welds, but I mean, it looks like it's gonna hold. It's all a guy can ask for, right?
So that sits nice and that doesn't sit nice. Now it's mostly on. That's probably just my OCD that's gonna bug me. I'm like, gate works great. But what do I do about that? <sighs> my name is Greg and I'm going to pick my battles. That is not one of them. That's going to be fine. Oh well. Okay, Woo. so here it is. It's not pretty. It's not done well, but it works. I can fix it in the future. I didn't pay much for it. I learned a little bit more and that's what it's all about, isn't it? I'll probably have to put more tack welds on that. Welding that wire is really, really tough, as I'm sure some of you know. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna shoot some galvanized spray at it and probably go make dinner. But yeah, one more time. All right. Now that I've got the knack of building a f gate, um, I'm gonna build a 17 foot gate for the pasture entrance. And 17 is pretty big for a gate, but I wanna be able to bring anything in here. So if we ever wanna pour concrete, which we will, I wanna be able to get a concrete truck into the pasture. So, I got a good feeling about this. The only difference I'm gonna do today is instead of using the flux core, um, I guess you could call it a MIG welder, um, I'm gonna use this big old AC buzz box and some sticks and see how that goes. I've got a little bit thicker material today. This pipe is a little bit thicker. So I'm hoping that I don't blast holes through it.
Well, those are absolutely terrible looking welds. But they will hold. And that's all I'm going for. So this humongous fence is probably going to need a tension wire to kind of hold it up on a uh, the hinges, which I need to weld on right now. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get it done today, but I got it done today. I am, I, I think I've advanced from a terrible welder to a bad welder, which is a pretty good advancement for me. I'm not gonna show any of you my welds in detail because they're crap, but they're holding. And I spared you the hour and a half of me tack welding wire on, on tack welding, I'm tired. Tack welding wire on to the frame. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna hang this tonight because it's late. I should be cooking supper. Katie's probably hungry. She's been editing all day and it's time for steak. So I'll leave you right here. I'm finally finished with editing. It's really quite hard getting two videos out a week because when I'm editing, Greg's trying to keep busy and make sure there's lots of content coming out. So he's been working on these gates and I'm really impressed. They look awesome. We've got this gigantic 17 foot gate. I don't know why it doesn't really seem like that much when you're like, oh, it will do 17 feet wide. But then you actually get the gate built and you see it and you're like, okay, maybe that was a little excessive. But if there's any larger vehicles going through here, it'll have no problem. So we're going to get this gate hung on the fence posts. So let's go. Let's go. Sounds like our neighbor has a wood chipper or something going. So you hear noise in the background. They're doing some work up there. Better rip. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. 
Get out. Okay. Okay. Now we got a problem. That's good, that's good, that's good. Good news, I gotta lower, I gotta lower. So we're gonna do one more gate today. We're gonna do the second person size gate that's gonna go there. We're gonna do the same as the other one, but we've decided to cut down the wood a little bit smaller because it is quite heavy and we're probably gonna have to take the other one down and make it a little bit smaller because <laughs> fence posts can't really handle it and I do see in the comments everyone is mentioning to put a cross brace from the bottom hinge up to the top corner so I'm gonna remind Greg to do that and yeah we're gonna get into this gate Cabbage. <laughs> she gonna have cabbage farts? <laughs> she already does have cabbage farts. That dog stinks, man. So I fix the fence and they break it again. Face. I gotta work now. I'll go reach she it. says no. No, you don't.
the nail gun? Check this out, guys. Yeah! What did you do? Okay, so come take, come, come, come here, come here. So if you take this screw out right here, there's a sh Schrader valve. There's an air inflate. Pull your hand out. You see, if you take that screw out there, there's a valve bolt behind this that you, a part of just the maintenance of this thing is to inflate that up to 125 PSI. Hmm. Of course I read the instructions on how to use a nail gun. I told you there's an air canister or something. Well, you were right. Yes. Okay. Don't dig. But like, I, on the new ones, it has a little thing you can pop off, but I guess on this one, it, it's all hidden in there. So, uh. well, all's well that ends well. Works good. Much nicer fence. Gate. Gate. Putting this in here so that my hinge has something to grab it. Ding, ding, diddle, little, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you need to hold it? No, you're taking video. Okay, I'm not putting two screws in here because we don't have any that short. But that's okay. Okay. Bottom. Bottom, yep. I gotta look for the tape measure that's in my pocket. Oh, I'm ready for supper. Uh, yeah, that's not it's heavy. Still heavy. Oh, well, it's hemlock. Have lock, heavy lock. Okay, I'm gonna come over there. Actually, no. Actually, yeah. Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, set her up. Tough girl. It opens out, I guess. <laughs> and it doesn't fit. Do that again. What? It's like so far off. What the heck, Katie? What'd you do? I gave that an extra in extra quarter of an inch. Well, that's not very much. I guess I'm putting in three because I messed that one up. These work nicely. How straight is that? Straight-ish? Not really. <laughs> no. I think it's okay. It, it's okay, but... It's, None yeah. of these posts are straight. What can you do? <sighs> you can concrete everyone. Else. That's how it sits naturally. So, it's rustic. Everything is. Um, we gotta cut all those posts down. You look funny. All the, the tops. Yeah. yeah. All right, we've got three quarters of the gates done, I guess. We're gonna have to leave it for another video. We're gonna have to do the big one down below, and then we need to finish the little section towards our neighbor's place. But that's gonna be a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, we need to figure out exactly what we're doing. So with that, we're going to leave you here and we'll see you in the next video.